Here are my first impressions of Dun Dun Dun. So this anime is about Momo, a girl who just got broken up with by some jerk and feels kind of bad about it. Eventually, this leads to her helping out a random nerd who's getting picked on due to his fascination with aliens, which Momo relates to because she was once picked on for her spiritual beliefs. The two eventually make a bet to prove to the other that their beliefs are real, and well, they're both right, but it ends with the guy being cursed and Momo awakening psychic powers. Also, it turns out that the guy's name is the same as a famous actor that Momo likes. The show's first episode has an interesting take on the value of faith, with Ken's faith serving as a hope of getting out of his isolation and actually reminds me a lot of the sentiments of the main character in Stardust Telepath, where Momo's beliefs are instead a connection to her past and grandmother. Now I will say the anime has a bunch of weird, etchy content, and if you're triggered by some scenes of SA, I would not recommend it. Although I think that the lewd materials add to the oddity of the show, with the uneasiness it creates in the viewer being the objective especially with a very out-there animation style that resembles Devilman Crybaby. The anime is being made by Sain Saru, who previously made Devilman Crybaby, Garden of Remembrance, and two episodes of Star Wars Visions, with this being the director's first time at the helm. The show is very weird, with tinges of a somewhat compelling story. I'm not really sure that I vibe with it though, but in light of the massive hype around the anime, I'm willing to give it a bit of breathing room. So as a result, Dan Dan is an anime that's skeptically on probation.